boy, I didn't know there was that much dough in the whole world. <laughs> there ain't. Come on. Been looking all over for you, Captain Kane. What do you want, Daniels? Oh, it's Miss Nodberry. She's driving me crazy. I told you to stay with her, didn't I? Where is she now? In the main cabin. This morning, when the members of the party met the press, she gave any sign then of getting tough? No, none. And now she don't want us to sail, huh? Yeah, that's right. We've got to sail in the morning. Then you'll have to speak to her. No, that's your job, Daniels. You and Miss Nodberry cooked up this treasure hunt. Built it around that old pirate map she found. So don't ask me to argue with her. I'm only the master of this ship. Hey, what's got into that old lady anyway? Wanting to call everything off now that she thinks one of us is a thief. Maybe she's right. Yeah, maybe she is. That map's worth 60 million. Tell me, Captain, why do you object to meeting the members of our party before we sail? An old superstition of mine, Daniels. I don't like people. So I never meet my passengers till we clear port. We sail with the morning tide and see that nobody else goes aboard that ship. And keep an eye out for Jimmy Chan. He's been trying to crash this cruise for a week. I want no coppers or coppers' kids on my boat. If a stowaway is my only problem, I'd be lucky. You'd better get back that old lady. anything? Who? Who are you? Excuse, please. Must ask 1,000 pardons for intrusion. I'm Lieutenant Chan of Honolulu Police. Then you must be Charlie Chan. Same as humble distinction of most worried parent. Are you looking for someone here? Yes. Number two son who have become number one problem child. Desire for ocean adventure is ailment very much like hives. Give itch to many boys. Finding advertisement of treasure cruise plus missing toothbrush and pajamas indicate number two offspring Hidden on board this ship. And you come to give him your blessings? Correction, please. Have come to return young Seahawk to nest of college books. Say must hatch diploma before chasing wild goose. Mr. Chan, this is a worthy business enterprise. My name is Patience Nodbury, and I am not a wild goose. Please excuse inaccurate tongue. <laughs> uh, must seek for missing son. You need not worry about your son, Mr. Chan. We shall not be sailing tomorrow. No? Change of plan most sudden? Yes. Someone broke into my hotel room today, looking for my treasure map. They steal it? No, no. I wasn't much too clever for them. I had already divided the map into four parts. I have one, 
I sent the other pieces to three members of our party. And I am the only one who knows who has them. Then when we reach the island, the map will be reassembled. The person who tried to steal a map was member of Crew's party? I am convinced of it. And I won't budge an inch until I have uncovered him. Most clever. I came to search for black sheep and find only black cat. Most curious objects for treasure crews. Until recently, Captain Kane used the ship as a museum. He specialized in the history of piracy. Ancestor portraits of Captain Kane? No! These are famous pirates. Calico Jim, you surely read about him. Romito the Bloody, who first buried treasure on Cocos Island. Oh, and this strange looking object to the spikes is an ancient instrument of torture known as the Iron Maiden. Matthew Nodbury. You enjoy similar name, Miss Nodbury. My grandfather. Oh. He made the map I found. And if you think I'm ashamed of him, you're mistaken. Yes, oh, my heart. Please. Oh, no, it's all, I'm all right, thanks. It's, the cat gave me such a terrible fright. But you needn't come for me tonight, Black Hook. I'm not ready. Come for you? He was hanged for murder and piracy over a hundred years ago. And every time a Nodbury dies, he comes to escort us into the other world. First you hear the tap of his wooden leg, then the scratch of his iron hook upon the door. <laughs> but we Nodburys are not afraid. Man has learned much who has learned how to die. Uh, must excuse. Must seek permission to search vessel for stowaway. And I must go to bed. If you find the captain or Mr. Daniels, your luck is better than mine. Good night, Mr. Chan. May dreams of beauty and felicity fill your night. Thank you. Excuse, please. You are Mr. Daniels? Where may Captain or Mr. Daniels be found? They've gone ashore. Try the office. Thank you. You have come for me, Black Hook. I, I'm not afraid. I will take your hand. We'll have no trouble finding the kid. The only ones on board are Miss Notberry and the Chinese cook. And gentlemen in that cabin. Well, there's nobody in there. 
Well, look, please. Who is it? Oh, Mr. Lighty. Didn't know you'd come aboard. It's the only way I could make it if we're going to leave at 7 in the morning. Have a drink? Yeah, thanks. Aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? Oh, uh, Mr. Chan, Mr. Lighty. How do you do? It's a pleasure, sir. Pleasure is mutual. Bill Lighty's a newspaper man, St. Louis Sun Herald. Just been assigned to cover the treasure hunt. That's right. Was under the impression Bill Lighty, famous newspaper man, had been called to ancestors six months ago. He died? Uh, perhaps merely rumor. That was my brother Phil, Phil Lighty. He was on the same paper, too. So sorry to revive unhappy memories. Oh, it's all right. Sorry to disturb you, Mr. Lighty. Couldn't figure who was in here. Well, see you in the morning. Right. Excuse, please. Funny I didn't see him come aboard. You know Mr. Lighty a long time? No, he contacted Miss Notberry yesterday, and I signed him off this afternoon. Steve! Hello, Steve. Hello, Thomason. Ah. I was at a picture show when you phoned. You know, a sailor man's last night in port. Oh, I never phoned you, Mr. Thomason. What? You didn't leave word for me to come aboard at once, tonight? No. Say, somebody must be kidding me. I broke my neck getting down here. I packed and checked out in an hour. Say, who plays bad jokes like that? There's a mystery for you, Mr. Chan. Methods sometimes hide in madness of practical jokes. Chan? Charlie Chan? Say, this is a pleasure. Here, I've read a lot about you. You sailing with us? Uh, sorry. Well, I am disappointed. I like to travel with interesting people. He's looking for his boy. Oh. Mr. Thomason's in the rare coin business, Baltimore. New Miss Matician. Uh, yeah. Well, I used to be. Now I'm going to live a life I've dreamed about for years. Life aboard an old sailing ship, Adventure, the South Seas. You know, I could never afford it before, Mr. Chan. It's the first time I've ever been on a ship, too. I'm an awful lubber. I don't know one line from another one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'll go forward and unpack. Hey, what are you doing here? What made you scream? There's something in that box. It's alive. It's, it's moaning. Oh, you're just hearing things. Oh. Familiar moan, betray favorite son. <laughs> Please. Can you explain why I find black sheep in ancient coffin? Yes, I mean, no. That is. There's something very mysterious going on around here. And now mystery completely solved, huh? Well, not exactly. While I was investigating, somebody hit me over the head. See? Look for iron instrument slightly damaged trying to crack hard nut. Hmm. Oh, pop. <laughs> Young lady's arrival unobserved? Well, there wasn't anyone around, so I came down here. You see, Steve left me a message at the hotel to come aboard at once. What? Well, I never phoned. But there was a message from you. Stupid idea of a joke getting us all down here this way. Say, Pop, there's somebody aboard this ship with a wooden leg. As I was coming to, I heard somebody come from that direction. It sounded as if he was walking on a peg leg. Maybe he had a cane. Well, anyway, one leg made a tap-tap sound as he walked off. That way, I think. And all the time, there was strange music, like somebody crying. I've also heard music. Same comes from ocarina, favorite instrument of ancient pirates. Gee, ghost music. One moment, please. Most odd, Miss Nodberry not respond to young lady's screams. Is she on board? Perhaps the old lady's a sound sleeper. Would suggest quick glance into our cabin. Oh. All right. Young lady is girlfriend? Well, I, uh, I don't know yet, but she's on the expedition, so wish me luck. Operator of typewriting machine can afford expensive trip? Amazing. Now, how did you know Miss Ransom was a typist? Condition of fingertips peculiar to occupation. Miss Nodbury. Miss Nodbury. Steve! Steve! Miss Nodberry. Well, she's... Must have been her heart. 
She was only telling us this morning it gave her trouble. But she looked so frightened. Yes. Like she'd seen a ghost. Ghost? Gee! That's right. She sort of believed in ghosts, didn't she? Yes, she did. Well, I guess this ends the cruise. No, we'll carry on. That was her agreement with Captain Kane. We'll sail as soon as possible. Without key to treasure? The map? Why, Captain Kane has that. Correction, please. All lady divide map into four fragments to guard secret. She didn't tell me. She feared robbery and was determined to delay sailing to try and catch thief. I can't believe it. Well, I do now. Call a doctor? No. Call police. The police? What for? This is homicide. Oh, boy, a murder case. Say, Pop, maybe she did suspect somebody, and that's why she was killed. You know, dead men tell no tales. Contradiction, please. Dead lady tell much. Miss Nodbury saw pirate ancestor in this room tonight. The ghost of Black Hook? Oh, I can't buy that, Mr. Chan. According to family legend, ghost of pirate with wooden leg, scratch on door with iron hook to summon member of household to join ancestors. Ha, huh, we all heard that one. Please, observe in carpet. Prints of peg leg, sometimes used by ancient sailing men. On door, scratches made by iron hook, used as substitute hand. Those are freshly made scratches, all right. Well, that's no proof that somebody played ghost. Observe. Fragment of imitation beard. Theatrical makeup. Black beard, too. Same used by impersonator of Black Hook. But why would anybody do such an incredible thing? Ah, uh, she didn't. There's no sign of violence, not a mark on her. Nobody's been in here. Horrible illusion of ghost designed to stop weak heart. Same, leave no trace. Get it? You can scare a person to death, but when you do it deliberately, that's murder. Say, Pop, then I really did hear the killer, and that was his peg leg I heard walking away from here. I can't believe it's murder. Who'd want to kill that sweet old lady? Perhaps person desiring a map to hidden treasure. We leave envelope for same on table to be empty. That's right, Pop. It is empty. Matthew Nodbury, code map to Cocos Island. The killer got it. Maybe she's hid it someplace in here. Please, please, touch nothing. Must summon police. Pop, oh, Pop, I've got a theory. But first, I must know one thing. So little? Say, who among the passengers knew that Miss Nodbury had a weak heart? And that she believed in a ghost? Why, all of us on the expedition, I guess. They were her favorite stories. What are you driving at? There you are. There's your list of suspects. The passengers. Now, just a minute. Please. Desire names of absent treasure hunters. They're not on board. Names, please. Well, there's a Mr. Lafarge from New Orleans, a woman doctor name of Bonnie, and there's Mr. and Mrs. Thursday. Johnny! Where are you, darling? Why, Pop, have you got a girlfriend waiting for you upstairs? Only girlfriend is honorable wife in Honolulu, who occupies cabins aft. Captain Kane and I have the one on the right, and Mr. and Mrs. Thursday, the other one. Oh, just like a hotel. Never a minute to yourself when you could use a minute. Who is it? The police. The police? Come in. Hello, Charlie. Steve, you pick a fine time to play jokes. Oh, the new stewards, they're cute. Just a minute, Laura. This is Lieutenant Chan and his son. Mr. and Mrs. Thursday, an old married couple. How do you do? About two hours old. <laughs> no, three. We hate reception, so we drove straight from the church. We didn't see a soul on deck, did we, darling? You are in cabin a long time? No, just this minute. Haven't had time to take my hat off yet. See? Well, what's, uh, what's up? <laughs> I hope it's murder. It is. Miss Nodbury, she has been murdered. Oh! It's all right, darling. Now, don't, don't worry, please. You heard no scream? Uh, no, I uh, don't recall any. <laughs> Mr. Chan seems to think she was killed by a ghost. A ghost? Well, we didn't run across any ghosts, if that's any help. Look, Pop, an actor's makeup box. And just what the ghost of Black Hook would wear. That's mine. You hear that? A confession. Why did you murder Miss Nodbury? What? What's this got to do with murdering anybody? Black Hook's beard. <laughs> you idiot, that's a lace piece, a toupee. The brother of this one. Now, you blundering fool, my wife knows everything. Sorry I deceived you, dear. So that's why you kept your hat on all the time. What a relief. Now you know the worst about it. Will you love me with less glamour? 
Darling, I'd love you if you had a wooden leg. Please. Modest offspring desire much information. Would like to know if you possess wooden leg. What? No. Well, somebody on this boat's got a wooden leg. Now, wait a minute. Now you're going too far. What's more, I resent your going through my baggage without permission or a warrant. Now, I'll thank you to get out of here. Portrait of indignation much more convincing in Mr. Park's latest motion picture. Gee, a movie star. I knew I'd seen you somewhere before. Can I have your autograph, Mr. Parks? And I thought I was traveling incognito. I can see this trip's going to give us about as much privacy as a feature preview. That's good enough for me. Please, forgive duty of intrusion. Now, don't make it a habit. Jimmy. Hey, don't forget the autograph, huh? Hey, you're not going to swallow that story, are you? Swallow much, but digest little. Big boy, big boy, come up and see me sometime, anytime. <laughs> yes, believe wise bird can tell much. You said it. You said it, sweetheart. <laughs> Whatever took you down there, Mr. Chan? Desire for knowledge. Well, did you find anything? Only that man with ear to keyhole betray excessive curiosity. Oh, I wasn't eavesdropping. Oh, thank you, darling. That's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. We're going ashore. Can't afford to be mixed up in any police investigations. Correction, please. Hmm? No one may leave ship without permission from police. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Chan. This isn't a murder case yet. That's right. Jimmy, find telephone and report events to police headquarters. Okay. Sorry, I'm around to help you. Where are you going? Call the police. Mind if I go with you? Time I called my city desk. This is the sweetest murder yarn I ever saw. Say, you're a reporter, aren't you? You're a detective, all right. How'd you know? Oh, anybody could tell that. Gee, thanks. Shall we go? After you. Oh, no, you go first. Too bad we couldn't find that $60 million map before the cops get here. Oh, it's safe enough, I guess. You'll give me a half hour on this door before you call the police, won't you? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Say, there's no place open around here to phone this time of night. Oh, yes, there is. There's a drugstore just around the corner. What was that? Must have been a flying fish. I'd sure like to catch one. You almost did. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Chan, what's your theory? Well, we'll have to look for a man with a wooden leg. Can I quote you? Sure. And according to you, the... Say, the peg leg. He was on the boat. The footprints go that way. Let's follow them. I've got to call my paper first, but you go ahead. Want me to call the police for you? Yeah, will you? Sure. Ha, ha, ha. 
Hey, you look at that trouble. No, legs. What? Wooden legs. Excuse me. That guy must be screwy. Be careful, buddy. That's mahogany. Scratch is easy. <laughs> Captain King, am I glad to see you. You still hanging around? Huh? How long have you been in here? What business is that of yours? Haven't you heard about Miss Nodbury? What about her? She's dead. What happened to her heart? Murder. Murder! Murder! Shut up, Curdy. Insolent fellow. Well, what are you staring at me for? I didn't kill her, and I didn't steal her man. How did you know it was uh -huh. stolen? No other reason to kill her. They're looking for me, I suppose. Yeah. Huh? Come on, Gertie. I guess we better go aboard. Don't follow me. I suppose you didn't follow my advice. No. No, I didn't. Gee, you've got to tell them about Miss Nodbury. They'll never suspect you. Do as I say. It's very important to your case. How can I help you if you don't follow my instructions? I can't. I'm afraid. Believe me, Jean, I know best. I've handled more difficult cases. Her eyes, the way they stared at me. I can still see them when I close my own. Stop talking that way. Do you hear me? Stop it. Do you want to ruin everything I've done for you? All right. Don't worry. Hey, what are you hanging around here for? You looking for somebody? Why, no. Oh, you're here spying on me, huh? No, I'm not. I'm... What do you got on me? Nothing. Oh, one of those guys that won't talk, huh? Well, well, th get this. I don't like your face no how, so get out of here. Well, all right. Oh, I'll... you want to make something out of it, no, huh? No, no, well, I get don't... going. Hey! If you can't swim, walk! It ain't deep! <laughs> There's a man and a woman. I mean, there's a man. He was on board this ship, and he killed Miss Nodbury. The woman wants him to confess, and... There they are! I saw you, and you can't deny it. This is Dr. Bonnie and Mr. Lafarge, members of the expedition. Yeah, there must be some mistake. They just came aboard. Got the same mysterious phone call we did. Evidence indicate number two son all wet, as usual. But, Pop... I heard him say he was in Miss Nodbury's cabin when she was dead. It was in a sailor's cafe where I was following a wooden leg. She wants him to admit everything so that he'll look innocent. Please, please. Can Mr. Lafarge unscramble poorly spoken statements by expensively educated offspring? Now's your chance, Jean. That's all right. Don't worry. Mr. Chan, my work is in psychoanalysis. And Mr. Lafarge is a patient of mine. Miss Cruz is supposed to help me. He suffers from an anxiety neurosis and a fear of facing unpleasant situations. His impulse is to always run away from trouble. Well, what's abnormal about that? Trouble like first love teach many lessons. Quite right, Mr. Chan. Difficulties can only be conquered by facing them. All right. 
I'll tell everything. Splendid. Mr. Chen, on the way to our cabins, I saw Miss Nobbery and hers lying on the floor. I thought she'd fainted, but she was dead. Yes? It was heart failure. Timid man, very positive, without autopsy. That was my diagnosis. I sent my patient for help. But my courage failed me. I was coming back here when I saw him trying to hit this young man with a belaying pin. Oh, me? You're crazy. No, not crazy. Just a little neurotic. I was too frightened to call a warning. You dropped the pin in the water. What? Did I try and hit you with a pin I dropped? Why, no. You said it was a fish. Poor fish better wiggle into dry clothing. I'll borrow some of your clothes, Mr. Daniels. We're both about the same size. Say, Thanks. Don't... I'll be right back, Pop. Now, please. After offspring, overhear conversation in cafe. We decided to return here and tell what we knew. Did Miss Nodbury confide portion of map to you? No. No, she didn't. My theory, person who desires secret of treasure map would kill for same. All who possess map fragments stand in danger of death. Well, it's time enough to worry about that when the police say she was murdered. Steve's right. Maybe too late. Entire party here now would suggest all holders of map fragments present same to me for protection. But, Mr. Chan, I understood that Miss Nodbury didn't want the map put together until we anchored off Cocos Island. So? Your portion of map, please. Did she send you one, Laura? Give it up, darling. Mr. Chan is right. A corpse has no place on a honeymoon. Is it the real McCoy? Most possible, McCoy. Now only three pieces missing. I'm not sold on your murder theory, Mr. Chan, but if you are right, I don't want this map to get me slaughtered in my sleep. Most wise decision. Also, McCoy. That weird music again. Knowledge of same betrayed presence on ship at moment of murder. She knows something. Gee, Pop, I'm sorry I scared you. Please, explain Halloween joke. It didn't work. I thought I could make him admit he was Black Hawk. What? I found this disguise in his cabin. Oh, I never saw it before. It was hidden under a raincoat in the closet where he hangs his clothes. Oh, I didn't put it there. Please, go seek proper clothing. That music, it's starting again. Seems to come from the forecastle. Anxious to meet maker of ghost music. Please, act as guide. You alone here? Go. I go here, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. Go here, I just show you a good chance to check it. When you make music earlier, who passed this way? No one. It's me. I was going to play this one. I was going to play this one. Who did he say? His tongue say no person. He make music simply for own amusement. Well, that's that.
Two entrances to main cabin give killer two roads for escape. Who occupy cabin? Mr. Thomason. Why so much confusion? I just wanted to show you my new outfit. Not bad, huh? You split up two of my best suits. The others were kind of tight under the arms. But this one... Hey! A piece of Miss Nodberry's map. That isn't mine. Somebody must have put it there. Well, she didn't send me any part of that map. Now only one piece missing. Contradiction, please. Still three pieces missing. You had your pocket picked on this ship? Have not been on other ship. You were with him all the time after he got the other pieces. Well, go ahead and search me then, but don't frame me. Help! Help! Let go of me! That's Mr. Lafarge's voice. Help! Mr. Chen! Lights! Turn on the lights! Where are the lights? Lights on now. What's the matter? I've been robbed. About? I've been robbed. A portion of the map, it's... It's not pretty sent it to me. The one of you is a thief. No, no, take it easy, old man. Take it easy. Now, tell us what happened. It came from my cabin. It was dark in here. I was looking for the light switch and... Gee! Why are you so excited? Someone seized me and put his hand right into the pocket where I keep my map. I thought I had him, but... Have you seen Cade? No, I haven't. Failure of police to arrive, most mysterious. That reporter, Leidig. Say, maybe he didn't call the police, but he offered to do it for me. Mr. Thomason, you will please go ashore and notify police. Is it necessary? Please. All right, if you say so. Mr. Chan! Kate isn't in her cabin, and she wasn't on deck while we were there. She was looking at a magazine when I left here. Mr. Lafarge, are you sure it was a man who attacked you in the dark? Well, no, I, I'm not sure. Now, listen, Mr. Detective, one more crack out of you, and I'll Interruption, just... please. Kate! What an awful death. Gee, it's full of iron spikes. Correction, please. This is museum piece. Spikes only made of rubber. She's going to be all right. Just fainted. She's coming out of it now. There, do you feel better, my dear? There you Loss of consciousness caused by discovery of escaped murderer sitting in the same cabin? Yes. He was sitting there. Mr. Leidig, aware magazine picture betray real identity? Yes. He saw me recognize it. Before I could scream, his hand was over my mouth. Then I fainted. Mighty funny he fooled everybody on this boat so easily. What? Well, Mr. Chan, I never saw Leidig before this afternoon. Escaped criminal sought hideout on cruise to Desert Island. When he said he was a reporter, I had no reason to doubt him. Why, you'd have believed him yourself. Is Mr. Leidig friend of Captain Kane? I'm sure he isn't. Where is Captain? Mr. Chan, do you know none of us have ever seen Captain Kane? <laughs> Mr. Lafarge, what are you doing? Oh, my nerves. I'm not upset I calm them by walking a straight line with my eyes closed. Huh. That's a funny one. My doctor's advice. It's very difficult. What, walk a straight line? With your eyes closed. I can do that blindfolded. You can. I don't believe it. Here, I'll prove it to you. Here, tie any kind of a knot. Now, turn me around three times. You do it. Okay. One. Two. Three. 
Now put me on a straight line, uh, a plank on the deck or something. You're on it now. How am I doing? You're amazed. How does it feel? Just like walking on air. Watching you makes me feel dizzy. Oh, I could go on like this forever. It's unbelievable. Hey, the deck feels kind of funny. Like it's about to fall from under me any minute. Oh, that was easy. Hey! Preserver. Can I explain presence in ocean? Mr. Lafarge, he made me walk the plank. But then I saw Black Hook up here. He went that way. When I visit hold of ship, hatch was open. Now same closed. The crew handles that heavy cover, but they haven't come aboard yet. Black Hook, he did it. But why? Investigation, best way to find answer. I'd hate to have to look for a black cat down here. I'll have a light in a minute. This is where we store our diving equipment. Yes, I know. Well, you've been down here before. Hey, Pop, somebody might have used this rope to climb up and down from deck. Rope not here during earlier visit. It wasn't? Doctor, seek privacy in darkness of ship's hold? Oh, no. Just looking for my trunk. What, without a light? I had these matches. Baggage not yet on board. That's what I found out. He'd better tell Mr. Lafarge to be careful. He tried to drown me. I'm sure Mr. Lafarge meant no harm. In psychoanalysis, we teach our people not to resist certain impulses. Understand perfectly, Dr. Bonney. Why, it's Mr. Leidig. Dead. Suffocation. But, Pop, why was he killed? Dead men tell no tales. There he is. You. You got me on that plank, and when I fell in the water, you let me there to drown. I'm awfully sorry, but I've always wanted to do that to someone. I can't imagine how good it made me feel. You were on deck. You must have seen Black Hook. I saw no one. Mr. Chan, why should anyone put Mr. Leidig in that awful thing? It's, it's insane. Perhaps insane act designed to direct suspicion toward person of unsound mind. Which one of us could that be? Mr. Chan, you seem convinced the killer is one of us. Hello. <laughs> what are you all doing down here? <laughs> I, I phoned the police. They're on their way. Now can report second murder. Second murder? Mr. Leidig. Leidig? Do you know the police said he never phoned them? Say, Pop, maybe he didn't phone the police either. Shall I check on his call? No. Parent will do same for best results. Excuse. Must go ashore. 
request everyone remain with number two son in main cabin. Captain Kane, Lieutenant Chan. What do you want? These have no need for weapon. Mysterious captain who avoid passengers have secret reason. That's my business. Two murders make it police business. Two? Reporter Leidig, second victim. I know nothing about it. You desire death of enemy. What do you mean? Wise bird imitate master's words spoken in private. Thought of killing afford sea captain much secret pleasure. Why do you say that? Talking bird, repeat your threat to hated one. You die as you leave me to die. And you are pleased to hear enemy reply, help, let me out of here. You don't know a thing, you're guessing. And explain possession of ticket on board night plane for Panama. Also, charter papers for fast yacht, both in fictitious names. They're not mine, but they're proof, proof of what he's planning to do. Who? I found them in the cabin. Whose cabin, please? I don't name names. I'll handle him my way. We were partners once, partners for the treasure of Peru. We got to Cocos after a couple of years, and we found what no other treasure hunter had ever found, markers. Markers left by Black Hook. Human skulls buried in the sand, but we didn't know how to read them. You know, Mr. Chan, greed does funny things to people. He wanted to hog all the gold. So he left me there. Left me marooned without water in that boiling sun. He went to get big money so he could make a real search. I'd have died if a whaler hadn't picked me up. He don't know I'm alive. You see, we both go by new names now. You remain absent from ship to hide identity from him. When I got the Nodbury charter, I let him know about the cruise. He jumped for the bait. He's here now. Yet, Captain, make no move to kill enemy. I told you before I'll handle him my way. I'll leave him on that island to starve the way he left me. Person desiring map evident killer. Name, please. Not from me, you don't get it. He's a smart actor. Name, please. Operator, please get me police headquarters. Lieutenant Chan speaking. Homicide. Oh, hello, Charlie. Yeah, we know about the death on the Superstar. A fellow named Jed Thomason phoned. Said he was calling for you. Yeah, Thomason. Inspector Vesey should be there right now. Thank you. We'll find Inspector Vesey. Excuse, please. Well, now what's wrong? Don't ask me to go back on that awful boat. I won't do it. You overhear conversation between Captain Kane and self, yet remain quiet as mouse. We didn't hear a thing. How could we? We just came in. Question, please. Motion picture actor, famous he-man who explores strange places? Well, that was before I met Laura. I'm a reformed character now. You visit Cocos Island? 
Well, how did you know? Merely ask question. Darling, you never told me. Well, I was planning a surprise. Why do you ask? Because person I seek once live on Island of Treasure. What are you driving at? Pop! Hey, Pop! We got him. The cops are bringing him over now. Inspector. Hello, Charlie. We got here just in time. Everybody was leaving the ship. Somebody turned the lights out. And when they came on again... I know. Old story. Cabin empty. Anyway, we got the killer. Yes? The kid's got a head on his shoulders. Very good news, if true. Here they come now. They said they were afraid to stay on the ship. Yeah, we found them trying to get off the dock. There he is. Steve Daniels was my man from the start. He's the only person who could have killed Miss Nodberry. Your son's evidence convinced me, Charlie. Daniels had both motive and opportunity. What motive? You were afraid Miss Nodberry would call the crews off and force you to return the money you'd collected. Money you've spent. He wanted the map and the $60 million for himself. He killed Lydic because he was competition. He was trying to get the map, too. And didn't I find a piece of the map in his pocket? That was my piece of the map. No one stole it from me. I, I lied to you. I was afraid. I hid the map in Mr. Daniel's coat so that it wouldn't be taken. I thought it would be safe there for a few hours. Why you claim robbery? If it was known I didn't have it, no one would attack me or hurt me. Now that the killer is caught, you can return the map to Mr. Lavage. Single fragment of treasure secret useless until three missing pieces found. We'll go aboard now and take everybody's statement. Sergeant, get the coroner. Will you all please return to the ship? The inspector's all through now. We've got a good case against Daniels. And it's okay to let everybody come off the ship. Yep, that's right. But check him. Oh, it's you, Lieutenant Chan. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night, officer. Good night. Names, please. Mr. and Mrs. Thursday. Jed Thomason. Right. Good night, Mr. Chan. Good night. I'm mighty glad that boy of yours didn't suspect me. He builds up a case. Gee, thanks. Well, good night. I still don't believe Steve is your man. The inspector's satisfied, and that's good enough for me. Good night. Oh, well, Mr. Thompson. Yeah? Where can we find a taxi? Up at the corner, if we can find the corner. Hey, Pop! You're not sore at me for solving the case, are you? Permit temporary arrest of innocent man in order to catch killer. But we've got him. Steve's locked up now. No. Now it's time to set trap for real murderer. A trap? Can I help? Dilla now possess three pieces of treasure map. But secret cannot be read without fragment in parent's pocket. But, Pop, you mustn't do that. You're using yourself to bait a trap. Innocent man in jail. You remain here. Keep ears wide awake. Guard police whistle. And when you hear parent give signal with mouth music, so... Blow whistle to summon help. Maybe you ought to lend me your gun, too. Bullet from killer much easier to take than bullet from number two son. Well, Mr. Chan. I'm lost. How does one get out of this shipyard? Policemen on dock will escort you to gate. But I can't find the dock. I'm returning toward same. Then I'll stay with you if you don't mind. Mr. Chan, I'd like to have my piece of the map now. Eagerness for return of map most excessive. I wouldn't want anything to happen to it. Inside pocket like vault in bank. You have been to sea before? Yes. Why do you ask? Killer who seek map is person familiar with the sea. And with the use of black hook disguise could be either man or woman. With much opportunity to commit both crimes without observation.
You have no idea who Killer is? You're not accusing me, are you? What is it? Allow me to present Long Sought Killer. I've been expecting you, Mr. Thomason. All right, let me have the rest of the map. You caused death of Miss Nodberry and Mr. Lydie. Yeah, and I'm not stopping there. Come on, give me the rest of the map. Come on. You know what dead men tell? What you two know, you're going to take to the bottom of the harbor. Lydie picked your pocket in the dark to get the two pieces of the map. That's why he died. Now I've got the four pieces. Walk over there. Hurry up, come on. In an hour, I'll be on the plane for Panama. In a week, I'll be at Coco's collecting plenty for all this trouble. Turn around and face the water. You'll be found floating. No bullet wounds, just an accidental death. Well, Jed, you marooned me on that island without water. Left me to die in that blazing sun. I swore I'd get you for that. Please, Captain Kane. Mr. Thomason, my prisoner. The law will maroon him in death cell of San Quentin. I guess that'll have to suit me. What is it, Charlie? Self-confessed murderer. Search will reveal treasure map in Thomason pocket. Take him away. He has my piece of the map. I want it back. Timid man's map safe in inspector's pocket. Where are you going, Charlie? I have one more mystery to solve. Disappearance of number two son. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Again, we'll remove menace to navigation at once. Hey, where do you think you're going? Number two, son. All right, but use the back door when you go out. I got this all cleaned up. Chief Hop, how'd you find me? Inspector Bessie say flying fish come here to dry out. I'm awful sorry I missed your signal. Please, save alibi for autobiography. Time to go home. Come on. Hey, Pop, not that door. It's dangerous. Oh. I might have caused you a lot of trouble, but I saved you from a bath in the harbor. That's the door I fell out of. Honolulu, directly west. 